There has been a lot of confusion, illusion, and lies. Seven of Cups. Someone tried to create an ending to a situation that was coercive and was not on the up and up, was not of the proper means. This created a hell of a lot of strife for somebody. But the problem with that is that they did it by underhanded means. They did it through coercive measures is what I'm hearing. They also did it by telling lies and spreading, spreading lies and creating fear and illusion. The Seven of Cups. Unfortunately for them, what someone thought they were going to use to destroy you with, unfortunately, it's coming back to destroy them instead. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your moment, for your day, whatever. Yeah, please keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is not going to resonate for everyone. Also, this is a timeless reading. Okay, so this doesn't have to resonate for you right now. This could resonate for you at any moment in your life. Yeah. Happy Monday, everyone. Welcome to October. I hope you guys are doing well so far. We are really in it now, y'all. I mean, fall is in full swing. At least not necessarily for me, <laughs> being in Puerto Rico and everything, but that's okay. Um, but the seasons are about to change. I'm pretty sure the leaves are probably already starting to change in the areas in which it does so. I miss that. I'm from the Northeast. I grew up in New York State. So like the whole, all of the, the fall, fall is one of my favorite seasons. I can't stand the winter. But do you hear her? That's Jinx. Good Lord. Hold on a second. Anyway, sorry. I was getting I was I was getting sidetracked anyway. Let's just let's just get into this here. Yeah, I'm gonna get this read this reading for us today. Again, this is a general reading and this could resonate for you at any time, all right? So uh, for today, or maybe for this week, I'm not sure, but today at least I'm feeling like I wanna work with the before and after tarots, okay? So we're gonna use the before tarot to get ourselves our 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 general message, and then we're gonna use the after tarot to clarify yeah excellent guys so let's just get into this and see what messages we have for the collective today here we go Hi, spirit. please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of the situations, situationships, romances, relationships, and places in which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much, Spirit. All right, kids, let's do this. Let's get into it here. I'm going to give this four shuffles. Okay, four shuffles. Here we go. One. For the collective. This is two. This is three. No jinx. See, now she wants to go back out. This is four. She's going to have to wait. <laughs> All right, kids. Let's see. What, co what messages do we have for the collective today, please, spirit? The Ten of Pentacles is the first card out. Something is coming to a completion. I did hear a long-standing relationship, some circumstance. Take all of this. Okay. All right. All right. So a whole stack of cards just came out. Spirit is t saying to take it, but I won't have to shuffle again, at least from this deck. <laughs> okay. Anyway, overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the two of cups. I feel like 
This is a message for someone that is standing in opposition to another person. Okay, a long standing relationship, a long standing situation, trial, or I, I, or ordeal with another person is coming to an end. It's reaching its completion. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. Now, I also want to show you the other stack of cards that came out. This whole stack, I don't know if you can see it. Look at all these. Look, look at all these cards. And Spirit is telling me to take all of it. Those of you that have been with me since the beginning of Morning Coffee, do you guys remember when? I used to do morning coffee and Spirit would dump a whole bunch of cards out on me and then be like, all right, Eric, now read it. And I'm like, really, Spirit? And they're like, no, yes, we're very serious. And I would take it. Well, now is one of those times. And I'm going to pause for a second and let this freaking cat out so that I can continue to conscious on the, uh, focus on the reading. Yeah? Excellent. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. Okay. So let's talk about this whole stack. First thing I want to show you is the first card, the card on the very top of the stack is the six of wands. All right. You're about to be, someone is about to be uh, victorious. Someone is about to be crowned the victor here. And I don't think who, I don't, what I'm hearing is I don't think it's who was originally intending to be in this position. Okay. What else do we have? Seven of cups. Death. Ten of wands. The tower. Four of Swords, Page of Cups, Two of Swords, Queen of Cups, the Sun, and the Page of Wands. And then overall energy with that Two of Cups, you also have the Ten of Pentacles and the Six of Wands, okay? So, here's the story here. There has been a lot of confusion, illusion, and lies. Seven of Cups. Uh, someone may have even tried to r rob someone of their life. Death. Okay. Someone may have tried to cause some sort of confusion that would have created a situation in which someone could have died. I'm just picking up what's on, what, what the universe is throwing down here. If that's not your situation, then don't take it. Okay. But ultimately, there was some sort of, there, someone tried to create an ending to a situation that was coercive and was not on the up and up, was not of the proper means. They tried to do it through illusions, illusions of grandeur even, okay? With this, you have the Ten of Wands. This created a hell of a lot of strife for somebody. And yet, the, and, okay, and then the Tower, then we have the Tower here. But I'm getting two things from the Tower. First thing that I'm getting from the tower is that someone tried to heavily affect the life or the lives of some of others, okay? Someone tried to create a situation in which they're, they were see, they seem to be have seemed to have been burdened by something. And hopefully that burden would create some sort of transformation that would go in the that would work in the favor of the aggressor or whomever was trying to create strife for someone else. But the problem with that is that they did it by underhanded means. They did it through coercive measures is what I'm hearing. They also did it by telling lies and spreading, spreading lies and creating fear and illusion. The Seven of Cups. And then that was supposed to create a tower moment for, the, for whomever the target of this was. Unfortunately for them, the tower is turning around and striking them instead. Whomever the aggressor was here. This tower energy, what someone thought they were going to use to destroy you with, unfortunately, it's coming back to destroy them instead. Let's move forward. You have the Page of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Two of Swords, and the Queen of Swords. So, it seems that... Uh, what I'm getting from this is that maybe there's a level of apology that's necessary or that's needed. Maybe someone is wanting to send some apologies. Maybe someone is wanting to extend some sort of grace even. And it could have even been the individual that was on the side of receiving whatever damage that was thrown out or dealt out towards them. Uh, quite frankly, I'm not sure that's a good idea. I don't, I'm not sure you would even want to interact with this person or get close to this person or these people again. 
Okay. Um, the other thing that I'm getting with the Page of Cups, the Four of Swords, and the Two of Swords, with the Queen of Cups, is that I really feel like someone is, is being very cautious about who they extend their grace to, their love to, their acceptance, their acceptance to. This is causing somebody to change their tune big time. Because with this Page of Cups, you have the Four of Swords and the Two, and the Two of Swords. All right, so someone here is choosing to uh, close off to external circumstances and instead is rather focusing on what their intuition tells them or what it is they feel about the situation, okay? Someone is not really trying to extend any offers of grace or and companionship and or someone is also not interested in accepting any offers of apology trying to rectify the situation, trying to come in and say, we're so sorry, or I'm so sorry, I never should have done that, or I've changed my ways, I've changed my thought process, I've changed my patterns. Don't care. Really don't care. Because there seems to be something underneath the surface that you're still picking up on. Or at least with this Queen of Cups, somebody here has gained much tougher boundaries to get through. And thus, we have the Sun with the Page of Wands. And this is a good energy, aside from the fact that we have the sun here. This is the best energy in this situation or the circumstance only because it's causing someone to change their tune. Someone is never going to be the same. Someone is never going to allow circumstances to get away with them like this ever again. This is, a, this is definitely a lesson learned for someone. And whomever is coming out of this situation or circumstance that will be receiving a crown of recognition in some sense, you really deserve it. And also what I just heard is this person or whomever was opposing you, whomever, whatever evil or dark or deceptive energies were around you, they also deserve to watch you receive this crown and ride off into the sunset. Okay? Because they need to see, they need to bear witness to the fact that their coercive, dark, evil, mean, deceptive tendencies are not the way to go about things. So they need to recognize your, their failure in your success. Let me say that again. They need to recognize their failure in your success. There's one last card that's come out here. It's fallen face down. It's an energy that's underneath the surface. Ooh, there's the coercive tendencies or en and energies right there. And this card and this energy has come out in reverse, or not in reverse, but underneath the surface because this energy is what was hidden. People didn't want to, or this person or these people didn't want them, didn't want others to see just how selfish they are or how egotistical that they are. The King of Wands. Do I wanna get one more shuffle on the King of Wands before we clarify? Yes, that's excellent. All right, let's do that. What is this King of Wands energy? What does this represent here? At the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Pentacles. And you see how these people are, have knelt down to this individual and they're handing them pentacles? I feel like this individual, whomever is the King of Wands, took up some charge, took up some leadership aspect. They felt emboldened. King of Wands, Knight of Wands. They felt emboldened. Somehow. Uh, I keep hearing coercive tactics or coercive manipulation. Okay. This feels like, because, okay, what else we have here is the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Wands, and then you have the Empress. Remember, this is the before tarot, okay? But what I'm getting with this Eight of Cups and the Nine of Wands 
is somebody should have left these manipulative tactics a long time ago. They should have left this behind a long time ago. But they chose not to. And it could be that a group of people came together to try and maybe get some wisdom out of this person or get someone to... I don't know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like this person may have been influenced to follow to to follow this path or be so emboldened to do whatever it is that they did because of the influence of other people. As if these people were coming to this individual saying, "You've got to know how you know how to do this. Destroy this person or destroy this situation or something like that." But what they didn't realize is they came up against an empress. And what they didn't realize is that this, whomever they thought was the authority really wasn't the authority because underneath the four of pentacles is the emperor. We have the emperor and the empress. So either this person said some, I feel like regard whether a group of people came together and sought this person out and or this person felt that they could lead a charge and said, come support me or come give your, give your tithing, tithings to me and I will get the job done. But what they didn't realize was that they were coming up against a true empress or a truly unconditionally loving, unconditionally giving type of energy. And what they didn't realize is that they had the emperor behind it. And the emperor protects the empress. So while they thought, while they thought they were talking to an emperor, they were actually talking to a false prophet is what I'm hearing. And they provided some sort of offering that is leading to fear, illusion, and destitution. Nine of swords, five of pentacles, all because of their egos. And now the truth, ace of swords, of their manipulative tactics is coming out. The magician and the eight of wands and someone has learned seven of pentacles to bow down in reverence to the true leader i guess but i feel like whomever here is on the receiving end of this victory doesn't even want someone to, to, to bow down to them they're not looking to be the type of individual that this person was king of wands this is nothing but selfish false prophets Let's get into some clarification. Oh, this goes here, this goes here. Okay. Alrighty, uh, clarification. I... Okay, Spirit is saying, let's start with the Empress energies. All right, I'm gonna, I'm using the after tarot now, yeah? And we're gonna give this four shuffles. One. Two, three, and four. All right, so let's talk about the Empress here. The Hanged Man is at the bottom of the deck already. Uh, change in perspective. What I just heard is someone... Someone is really starting to realize what they've done and how they may have li made lives, their lives and the lives of the people that they tried to coerce or they, that they tried to lead towards whatever this was. They've only made their lives and those other people's lives much more difficult. And it's through this difficulty, it's through this strife, it's through being stuck and stagnant, being held in a place now that they never intended to be in to begin with. Because quite frankly, with this King of Wands energy, they probably were so arrogant that they, they, that they didn't think they would ever end up in this place. But now it's through this, it's through this, basically the repercussion of their actions, that they're experiencing the strife, and, then they, and now they realize exactly what it is that they've done, and the, the damage, the drama, the destruction, the strife they will now reap because of it. But let's talk about the Empress. What's this Empress energy? 
Let's see Empress Peace Spirit. That's enough right there. Three cards that have fallen face down. At the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Cups. Whomever this Empress is, her intentions have been pure all along. Okay. Three cards. Ooh. Yikes. King of Cups upright. Oof. King and Queen of Cups. First of all, this person may have started as the Queen of Cups. Ultimately nurturing, loving, caring, a caregiver, a nurturer, an emotional nurturer, someone that's emotionally aware, someone that's also psychic, em empathically in tune, which makes her such a great nurturer. But now she's switching into the King of Cups energy. Because unfortunately, there is a need to change their tune. Page of Wands. And some sort of... Oof, Four of Pentacles. But I want you to look at, because now we're using the after tarot, okay? Now I want you to look at the difference between the Four of Pentacles in the before and the Four of Pentacles in after. So this is the after tarot, right? You see how the devil is coming to reap? Well, look at the before. This is where you started. This is who you thought you were. But now that's damage is getting into get now, now that's getting into trouble. Now that is getting you into trouble, or now there is something to be collected upon here. And it's all happening because somebody's putting up their boundaries. Okay. But with all of that said, the Empress, again, is clarified by the King of Cups. So someone is is making a judgment call. Someone is doing something that is necessary that they may not necessarily like to do especially coming out of this queen of cups energy this individual is unconditionally loving it's not wouldn't eat, wouldn't hurt a fly if she didn't absolutely have to right well now there are boundaries being put in place now someone is handling this appropriately judgment is in reverse with the lovers in reverse no there is no love that's being given the judgment is not in favor of the side of the individual that is opposing this. And someone knows that. This individual knows it. King of Cups. And is doing, is acting appropriately. And you know what's crazy about this? What I'm feeling here is with judgment and the king and the and the lovers in reverse, it's really not even about you having a choice. And that's what makes this so difficult. That's what makes someone having to that what's that's what makes someone have to stand in the up and up. King of Cups. They would probably love to extend love, care, and grace to you, but they have got to change their tune because it's not even up to them. The lovers in reverse, it's not even up to them. Ultimately, it's up to the universe, and the universe says no. And thus, this person has to act accordingly. And that means retracting their grace from someone else or a group of people or whatever. Okay. Let's look at... The King of Wands, then. What's this King of Wands please get? What's this King of Wands. Oof. Nine of Cups. Someone got real comfortable. Someone really thought they had it like that. But the King of Wands is clarified by two other cards. The first one is face up, so that's on the surface. Death. I'm not predicting anyone's going to lose their lives, nor am I promoting, nor am I trying to say that I condone someone losing their life because of this. Not at all. I mean, everyone's, every, everything that lives must die, just, that, just like everything, and what goes up must come down, right? You live in this physical existence as it's set up right now. You live one, you live one day, you die another. Every, nobody gets out of here alive, right? But that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about a major transformation. We're talking about a major upheaval. Death. 
And this is major arcana. This is spiritual energy. So this is a big transformation. Underneath the surface, you have the magician. Oof. Woof. Um, someone was being manipulative. Someone was trying to use their powers for good. But there was malicious intent underneath the surface. This really wasn't for good. This was for clout. In some cases. I want more. Can you give it? I feel like I want to pull more here. Can we get a little bit more here, please? On this King of Wands energy? Is there anything else you want to say about this King of Wands? Now we have back to the Queen of Cups. Be innocent. Be innocent. <laughs> we have the Knight of Cups now with the Nine of Swords. Should I apologize? Should I, should I make an offering? Should I, should I do something? I feel like I gotta do something. She's not gonna accept it. No, look, she's not gonna accept it. Queen of Cups, Seven of Wands, Four of Pentacles with that, with that Reaper card. You're just gonna have to let, you gotta pay the piper. You think you're going to rob pa Peter to pay Paul and get away with it and think the devil's not going to come un come and collect on your ass too? <laughs> oh, you're funny. You're real funny. She's not going to accept it. And you know that. Or somebody knows that. Now they want to change their tune. Sayonara. You can go, you can go make that appease to your gods. Because it's not even this individual that you've angered. It's the universe. Judgment is not in your favor. And this person can't, I mean, like, this person has no control over that. They don't have a choice. They've got to follow, they've got to do what they know is right. And maybe if in a, in a, in a different situation, maybe, and maybe this is part of the, maybe this is part of the lesson that this individual needed to learn. In the past, they may have given you the benefit of the doubt and maybe even let you back in. Not this time. Your coercive, your coercive tendencies have no way here. This is not how we do things. We do not coerce. We, allow, we live and let live. We love and nurture all beings unconditionally, whether you like it or not. But the problem is you're not going to be let into this community, into this kingdom, while you're still holding this energy. The coercive tactics. Not going to work. So this person has to cut you off. Or else they haven't learned the lesson that they needed to learn in all of this. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Um, where do we want to get our closing message from? Okay, hold on a second. Okay, we're getting our closing message from the Liquid Crystal Oracle. Yeah? Excellent. Five shuffles. All right, I got to clear the energy. Okay, one. Two. Three. Four. And five. All right. Cool. Let's get it. Closing Oracle Guidance, please. Spirit. Oh, there it is right there. Carnelian. Creativity. Huh. Oh, shoot. What did I do with the book? Oh, it's in here. There it is, Carnelian. All right. The presence of Carnelian today is a healing and empowering step back into life. As she makes her way into your world, it is as though the sun is shining within you. Shadows, sorrow, self-destructive attitudes, and doubts are washed clean, leaving a clean slate to rebuild and create your world. 
The rules are simple. Be free, be creative, and most importantly, be you. Set goals and draw a path of joy upon which you will confidently walk to your individual purpose. Carnelian can and will, if you allow her, guide you back to the creative individual fires that burn in your heart. Do something new, something forgotten, and something feared in the coming weeks and rediscover the common thread, your individual spark, and trust in self. Carnelian can also be representing, can also represent a new relationship or a breath of life into an established one. Now is the time to act. I also want to point out that the definition here started on page 88. I know for me personally, the number eights have been following a lot, a, a, a lot lately, especially 88. So you might want to check that energy. Yeah, read up on what 88 could mean for you. With that said, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I'm sending you all so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>